With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says a point object O is placed in front of a transparent slab at a distance x from its surface. If it is seen from the other side of the slab by light incident nearly normally to the slab, the thickness of the slab is given as T and its refractive index is given as mu. We need to show that apparent shift in the position of the object is independent of x and we need to find its value. So if you try to visualize a given situation, so here we can see uh, we have a slab and uh, on which uh, in front of which an object is been kept at a distance x that is we have represented it with O over here and we can see uh, when the light has been uh, incident on the glass slab that is at surface 1 and let's suppose this is our surface 2 so at surface 1 we can see it gets refracted and we can see it is bent towards the normal since it is moving from rarer to denser medium all right and from this uh, in the on the second surface it bends away from the normal as it is moving from denser to rarer medium all right uh, for the first part uh, when it refracts on the first surface so we can see the image uh, that has been formed and we have supposed it as to be I1 and when it gets refracted on the second surface the image uh, is been formed uh, we have denoted it with I2 or we can say the object has been shifted all right so first it will be I1 then it will be I2 so we are interested in finding the apparent shift that is uh, that is this distance we are interested in finding which uh, distance between O and I2 so uh, for this uh, we have studied uh, the refraction of light ray from a spherical surface which is given by the formula so we can write for refraction from spherical surface the formula is from this we will derive the uh, formula for refraction for uh, from a plane surface so from this uh, we know it is given by the formula n2 by v minus n1 by u and that is equals to n2 minus n1 upon r so we have to be clear with the terms n2 uh, is the refractive index of that medium uh, in which the light will go after refraction and n1 is the medium from where the light rays are coming v is the image distance u is the object distance so here it is u r is the radius of curvature of the uh, spherical surface so here the surface is not spherical but plane so we will take r infinity so r will be infinity for a plane surface all right so from this we can write uh, the formula reduced to n2 by v uh, minus n1 by u is equals to 0 therefore this concludes that uh, we can write n2 by n1 will be equals to uh, v by u so we will be using this result uh, from here onwards so for first uh, refraction surface we can write when refraction occurs at first surface first surface so we can write n2 that is the medium in which it is going after refraction is uh, mu and from where it is coming it is n1 that is uh, from air it is coming and its refractive index will be 1 and v is the image distance so we can see the image has been formed here that is i1 so its distance from the surface will be equals to let's suppose this first surface to be as a and this surface to be as as b therefore we can say uh, the distance will be a i1 upon uh, the object distance that is a o so from here uh, we can say now therefore this can be written as a i1 will be equals to mu times of a o and if we carefully look into the diagram the distance a o will be x therefore we can say a i1 will be equals to mu time x so let's say this is our equation number one so now for the second surface we can write now the refraction for the second surface again we will be using the same formula now it is going to medium 1 upon mu so equals to 
uh, the image distance now image has been formed at i2 so it will be bi2 and now this i1 will act as an object for uh, the refraction at surface 2 so this distance will be so we can say the object distance will be b i1 so we can write this as b into i1 so from here we can say now so we can write therefore 1 over mu will be equals to b i2 divided by b i1 from the figure uh, we can write this as uh, t plus of a i1 all right so t plus a i1 and i1 we have calculated in above equation so we can write this as p into i2 divided by t plus mu into x and here we will give the reason from equation 1 we are writing this and therefore from here we can say the value of b i2 will be equals to t plus mu x upon mu or which can be written as t by mu plus of x all right so this is what the uh, value we are getting of bi2 that is final image distance now we are interested in finding the value of shift that is uh, oi2 the distance between oi2 we are finding so we can write the shift therefore apparent shift will be equals to uh, this is oi2 and oi2 will be nothing but it can be written as uh, bo minus of bi2 from the figure we can see it therefore uh, if we write bo can be written as from the figure we can see the distance bo can be written as x plus t x plus t minus bi2 we have calculated above so we can substitute its value that is t by mu uh, it will become minus now so from here we can say xx will get cancelled out and finally we are getting the result as t minus t by mu so this is what the shift uh, we are getting and we have to show that uh, it is independent of x so from this we can see uh, there is no term related to x we are getting and the shift is independent and this is the value therefore this is the answer to this question i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today